So, hey agents, I am noticing a trend. So every single month when I go in to do payroll, I am noticing that there are maybe one to two different bookings that have not been registered. So during orientation, I stress it, stress it, stress it, and I'm still going to stress it because, you know, if you're not registering your booking, there is absolutely no way for Mommy and We Travels to know that this commission check belongs to you, okay? So please, you guys, please register your bookings. If you don't register your bookings, it just kind of means that you don't want to get paid for all of your hard work and for booking travel as a travel agent, okay? So once again, even if it's your booking, if you know that um, you're going to be taking a trip and it's hotel, flight, all of that included, and there's a commission that's attached to it, even if it's for you, guess what? You still need to come over here and you still need to register that booking, okay? So if it's for uh, a client, it, it, does, it doesn't matter who the trip belongs to. If there is commission attached to it, you guys need to be registering your booking. Now, I'll tell you the type of bookings that you don't need to register. There's two main types of bookings that you do not need to register over here with Mommy and We Travels. If you are a tra you're going on a travel agent fam trip or if you are going on um, any type of travel agent um, trip where you're taking the discount over your commissions, meaning that there's no commission attached to your travel agent trip or the travel agent hotel or the whatever the tour is, and there's no commission attached to it, you do not you do not need to register that booking. Another booking that you do not need to register. If it is air alone, like somebody just came to you and say, hey, Tiffany, I want to go to uh, South Africa. We already got the, the flights and stuff. We, and, um, we already got the hotels and stuff. We just need a flight. It's up to you whether you're going to service that client or not. But please remember that there are no commissions that are attached to flight alone bookings. And so whenever I do orientation, I stress this also. No commission. There's no commission. And it's been like that since, you know, almost the beginning of time. Like, you know, maybe years and years and years and years and years ago in the travel industry, the airlines used to give travel agents commission on flight alone. Well, guess what? It's not like that anymore. So it's like I said, it's up to you whether you're going to book flight alone for your clients, but there is no commission that's attached to it. So there's no need to um, register your booking over on this side right here if it's just flight alone. OK, so if you know for sure that you have commission, even if you don't know the amount of commission, because I have seen it where like Marriott, you know, you go to Marriott and you book something for your client and you're not sure how much the commission is. Well, guess what? With Marriott, currently our commission is 10 percent with Marriott. And then so even if you don't know the commission, if it if it asks you the commission, I think I have have it as one of those parts where um, you, it's not required to put anything there. But listen, if you know your commission. Put that commission there, but I, like I said, I, I have seen it in some places where it doesn't necessarily give the agents their amount of commission. Don't worry, we'll get the commission check. You'll get everything cut just as you know as as it's always been. But if you don't know the commission amount, don't stress about it. You don't have to call me and ask. You know what's the commission? You know, you you don't have to. You know, but remember, I know for sure with Marriott. Um, they may not show the commission. If you're ever booking on Amstar DMC, um, the commission is 10%. It's not listed there, but it is 10%. So as I said before, if you don't know the commission, don't worry about it. Don't stress over it. Just, just don't put anything in the area. And if by chance it is one of those required fills, put NA or put zero or something like that. And no matter what, when your commission comes in, if you, you have registered, the first very first thing that I do, as soon as I get a commission check, I look at the booking number that's on that commission check and I go straight to my system and I look up the booking number. If that booking number is not registered, guess where it goes, you guys? It goes straight into the unclaimed commission account. And so it's just sitting there until someone claims it. And so over here, if you click on the register your booking button, this is exactly what it's going to look like. And then right here, this is important, you guys. Whenever you book something, try to do this within 24 hours, you guys. Emails get erased. Stuff get lost. If you lose the email, guess what? 
you got to call the travel supplier and search for the booking number. You got to do all of that because look at all of this. All of this is required. You can't just put N-A, 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 N-A. No, no, no. That won't, that won't be accepted, okay? So you need to fill out all of this correctly. Name of booking agent, lead traveler, name of supplier, total amount for booking, commission if known. So it is required. So, you know, put, put NA or put, put zero there if you don't know the commission, but you're not going to get zero just because you put zero there. Whatever your commission is, that's what you're going to get minus your membership level. So if you're at your 70% commission level, of course, you're going to get 70% of your commission, okay? So it's so very important to put all of this in here. And even down here to the um the name of the supplier. Where is it? Name okay, right here. Name of travel supplier. Don't just put Vax. Don't just put, you know, um Southwest. If if you booked it on Vax, Southwest, put Vax Southwest, you know, or if you booked it on American Airlines, just put American Airlines or AAV. But um right here. <clears throat> It's important to put the full name of where you booked it at. If you booked it on VAX, go ahead and say VAX, but you know, say the travel supplier that's inside of VAX because there's 18 different travel suppliers that are inside of VAX, okay? And so it's so easy to come over here and fill out the um, register your booking link, okay? So name of, um, name of booking agent, lead traveler, name of supplier. Let's see. Come on. All right, name of supplier, amount of booking, commission if known, date that the agent booked this trip, date that travel will begin, date that travel will end. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Date that, tra that travel will end is important. It, and it's important to, for, for you guys to remember as travel agents, we went over this um, during orientation, but it's super important to remember that your, your commissions will not be cut until about 60 days after your client has returned from their vacation or their excursion or whatever the, the package is that you have booked, with the, booked for them and are expecting commissions for. So about 60 days after your client has, um, has traveled, okay? And so let's see, got that. So don't, don't be expecting commissions any earlier than that. And then, so, you know, sometimes it, it does take travel suppliers a long time, like a long time to cut commissions. You know, you know, if you think that you should be getting commissions, you know, for something, don't be afraid to reach out to me, send me an email. Hey, Tyra, I booked this, you know, um, back in, you know, I don't know, you know, a month or two before, you know, it was, you know, a month or two before, and um, the client has already traveled, uh, two months has passed, can you check on this commission? Don't be afraid to send me an email or even a text message like that, because all I'm going to do is go to my system, pull up your booking and see what's going on. You know, most of the commissions that we receive are direct deposits, but we do see receive some commission checks in the mail. So Expedia is one of them. If you've booked anything from Expedia, we just got our first commission check from Expedia and the booking was back in April, you guys. So that's like, that was, that was a long time ago. So if you ever get anything like that, just simply, simply shoot me an email letting me know, Hey, Tyra, um, client has traveled. It's been past 60 days. I just kind of want to, you know, check up on my commissions. There, there's nothing wrong with doing that. And in fact, I would do it too. I will, I want to know where my money is. If, you know, you're, if I'm, if I was the agent and I was expecting a commission, so don't be afraid to reach out um, to me. I will never be offended for you guys checking up on your money because listen, that's what you guys work hard for. Okay. And then, so the name of address and hotel right here, all of this helps me get you your commissions faster. If I have to pick up the phone and call Expedia and say, hey, you guys did not cut us a commission check. Here's all of the details. This is all I got to do. I just got to go to my, my back office, look up this form, and then I have everything right in front of me. I don't have to search anywhere. This is exactly where I'm going to come to, okay? So um, total number of guests, like all of this helps me to get you guys your commission faster, okay? Let's see. And you know, I think that that's pretty much it. You know, I just really, really want to stress to you guys that you guys should be registering your bookings. If you do not register your booking, there is absolutely no way for me to know that that commission check belongs to you. And when I tell you I've been receiving one, maybe two sometimes per month, like, you guys don't want to get paid. Like, I want you guys to get paid. So I'm just restressing this again. I went over in orientation, but listen, please register your book. And if you can, register within 24 hours because you forget, emails get lost, you just, stuff happens. And guess what? 
you'll be looking in the Facebook group and you'll see, you know, unclaimed commission, two, three hundred dollars with, with your client's last name and then the supplier that is there from. Are you going to remember all of your client's last names? Like, are you? If you're not going to remember all of your client's last names, you guys, please come over here and register your booking. So, you know, for this month, you know, there's, an, there's another one that's unclaimed. You guys, please register your bookings. Like, please, please, please. I want to pay you guys the money. I do not want this money to continue to sit here in the unclaimed commission account. So, you know, if you guys may, may, may think that, you know, <clears throat> you haven't received any of your commission, I want you to do this. Go to our Facebook group and just type in unclaimed commissions. And it's going to say the amount. It's going to say the client's last name. And it's going to say the travel supplier. If, 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 if you think that that's your client, I need you to go back into your systems, go back into your email. And remember, it's important to have a separate travel email because stuff gets lost. Stuff gets all jumbled up between personal email and your travel email. So whenever you sign up and you're going through orientation, that's something that I mentioned. Go ahead and get a separate travel email if you don't already have it because you'll get travel deals, you'll get all that stuff. But guess what? You'll have your confirmation page over there for your clients. So all you have to do, let's say, if you forget, all you got to do is come back over here and re-register it really, really fast, okay? Right? And then also, if you know that your client has canceled that booking or no longer wants to go or wanted to be refunded or anything, and you're handling all of that through the travel supplier, shoot me a text message. Shoot me a text message and let me know because, you know, it'll, it'll, it will remain open on our side. And then eventually I'll reach out to you. But if you know before me that your client has canceled, or even if it's for you that you're no, you register a booking and um, you're not going to go on that excursion or something, you know, just, just let me know. Because, you know, a lot of times I may check on by Ader and some things may be canceled, then I'll delete it out of my system. But if you know on your end, it'll just make it a little bit easier for me to just go ahead and delete everything that you already know that's not going to be happening as far as commission payouts. So that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. You guys, please, please, please register your booking. I do not want to hold on to this money. I'm trying to get you guys paid, but some people don't want that money. So if y'all don't want, want the money, listen, it's going to be sitting right there in the unclaimed commission account, and it'll be sitting there for ages until you register your booking, okay? So even if you call me and say, hey, Tyra, I think that booking belongs to me, yeah, okay, go ahead and register that booking. I cannot cut any commission checks based on word of mouth or what you think. No, 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 no. Go ahead and register your booking down here at the bottom. Right here, it says upload your booking confirmation page. Upload your booking confirmation page there. This is how commissions get cut. Don't send me an email with your, your client's confirmation page or maybe a screenshot of your confirmation page or anything. Nope, that ain't gonna cut it either. I, I don't even see it. Um, come on over here and register your booking. As soon as you log into your agent profile on Travel Printer Dreams, you click right here, register your booking, and it comes right here to this page, okay? So this is the only way that you guys are going to receive your money for commission. This is the only way. If you guys want to get paid, please register your booking. But that's going to conclude this video. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye.